Welcome back to Jeff Outdoors. I'm indoors. It is January 8th and uh, sharing uh, what I'm doing this evening with you. So, Carboys, hard cider, apple wine. So I'm actually in the process. I just got wrapped up uh, finishing putting my apple wine into the final containers after just a little bit over a year of maturing. And they were uh, first and second, uh, I used these three gallon carboys, they're glass. I used these for first and, first, uh, and second fermentation. And uh, uh, I used two different types of wine yeast. I'll show you a jug here. So this is the apple wine that I just just put it in the final half gallon. This is a half gallon. I have one, two, three, four half gallons and another gallon. So I have three gallons of apple wine that I made. This is uh, apple cider from a local Amish uh, apple cider press. So. This is, uh, well, this, let me speak again. One batch is from the Amish Cider Press up the road. This is, however, from Maori Cider Mill in Loudonville, Ohio. So I'm in the Loudonville area uh, quite frequently. And uh, Tyler, if you can, if you're watching, <laughs> here's my apple wine little over a year later and uh, maybe I'll drop them off a jug we'll see and over here we have here's a gallon uh, finished this is from the Amish cider mill this is a gallon here uh, this was brewed with premier Cote de Blanc yeast and this was started on October 4th 2020 so we're a little bit over a little bit over a year. So one thing with home brewing, uh, if you are thinking about it, is uh, it's a little bit of work, uh, but the outcome is is like uh, the same for me with maple syrup, which maple syrup season's coming up soon. So stay tuned. It's all about the process. Uh, enjoy the process. It is what it is. You know, it's the creation of something. So uh, there's a lot of cleanup with home brewing, uh, wine making, cider making, even maple syrup. There's just a lot of cleaning. So that's what that's what I'm doing now. And uh, these are three, like I said, three gallon carboys. Uh, what I do is I have a uh, oxygen cleanser. There's no chemical, there's really no chemicals. Uh, I mean, I guess you could call it a chemical, but it's, this cleanser is oxygen. It's not like bleach or anything like that. And it just takes a little bit to, I have a big brush. See this big brush? This is my carboy brush and bottle brush. I get all my brewing supplies at a uh, at the hardware store in Berlin, Ohio, uh, which is uh, Holmes County. So uh, I do I do get my stuff there, and they have a lot of different kinds of hard cider yeasts, wine yeasts uh, out there in the world that you can buy and you can mess with. They try different brewing styles, what have you. But uh, uh, I thought I would try these two wine yeasts for now and uh boy that came out pretty clean so and you know i'll wash it again if i ever start another brew i'm just gonna i'm gonna wash it again so i scrubbed it pretty good and uh we'll do another quick rinse i guess while we're at it so it's pretty cold this morning it was like 12 degrees this morning while i was drinking coffee 
Uh, we're expecting some pretty cold weather next week. And, uh, you know, there's some people that are tapping their trees right now out in the Mount Vernon, Ohio area, uh, which is not far from, about an hour and a half from here. If that, hour and 20 minutes. And uh, that seems pretty early to tap, tap trees. The soonest I ever tapped was January 22nd. Uh, then last year was uh, about a month after that. So about February 22nd, I tapped in 2021. Um, I've got more taps going up this year. So I'm expecting, kind of calculating somewhere in the vicinity of 8 to 11 gallons of finished syrup. Uh, so fingers crossed. Let's hope we get some good runs. All right, so we'll count that scrub and cleaned. And then we got to do this one here. You get to see me use see me use my brush here. It's uh, you know, it's like anything. It's a process. Just take your time. Get it in there and scrub it down. See what happens is you get uh, yeast kind of falls to the bottom of the carboy. And uh, it can, uh, it just makes like a layer, you know, a sediment layer on the bottom. Really nothing, <clears throat> nothing too major. So what I just do is like anybody, I've got my jug brush here and you just go around and I had a towel here a minute ago, right there it is. Why don't you remember where you put your towel next time? Dummy. So you just kind of give it a hug here, right? Give it a hug. And scrub her down. The biggest, the hardest part is this top. Is this, this top plate, this top plate here. This is the hardest place to reach on the jug. So you gotta kind of bend your brush in a little bit of a different way. Um, this one, I kind of have to do one of these, <clears throat> bend it back. And now I can reach in those corners and I just roll that, roll that around. And you want to scrub the whole thing, you know? Scrub the whole thing, man. When it comes to brewing, it's all about sanit cleanliness, sanitization, all that. You, know, you don't want to drink mold, right? Can't be drinking mold. No, thank you. All right, so I think that's good. Put the towel over there because that thing sprays out. This thing, when you pull it out of the jug, it just like sprays everywhere because the, the the fringes, whatever you want to call. Them. Okay, dump that out a little bit. Do a little rinse. Little rinse there. So we take what's left in this other jug plastic jug, do another quick rinse, and that'll be it. We got wine, we got three gallons of apple wine, uh, all new caps. Uh, uh, I saved those half gallon jugs off of uh, some uh, raspberry and cherry cider that uh, I've gotten from the Amish. Apple cider infused with, you know, raspberry, the cherry juice. It's pretty good. So that's it. I'm going to finish this bottle. I'm going to scrub that. And uh, thanks for tuning in. And uh, I actually have another. Hey, hold on. I have another jug going. Look at that. This is uh, fresh cider from the Amish Cider Press up the road. Uh, I, it's still cold. So what I'm going to do is I'm letting this warm 
overnight. And then we'll put the yeast in. Actually, I put a Camden tablet in there. It's gonna kill the wild yeast. I'm gonna let it sit for another 25 hours. And then I'll throw my yeast in there and we'll start the fermentation process. This will probably be done in about a couple weeks, three weeks. No need to rush it, but. And as you can see, it's an old Ohio maple syrup jug. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Hit that thumbs up, hit the subscribe, and hit that bell. And you'll get notifications when I post again. Have a good evening.